around. Obed, where exactly are you and what is happening at the moment? Right, so now that uh, we are currently uh, somewhere around the Chiashi area, we've just moved from the starting point, which is Okonglo, and the, ma the protesters are marching peacefully to drum home their demands for Galante to stop and also demand the release of their colleagues who have been arrested uh, some days ago. And so the protest protest has begun and we are marching uh, towards the street that is heading to the interchange, Kwame Nkrumah F. I beg your pardon, the Tsitakwashi interchange. Um, Sadiq Adams is part of those who are here this morning and I'll be engaging him briefly. Uh, I came because I, I believe it's my civic responsibility. Kalamse uh, is something that we should never politicize or we should never get divided on it. Uh, we are going to have a very dangerous future if it's not happening already. And I believe that as a responsibility on me as a, a citizen, I should be concerned. So I walked here just to join them and also show my displeasure at the reckless abandon with which we are, we are engaging in mining and destroying our water bodies and forests in that manner. Okay. Um, specific to your, your career, your profession, your sports guy, um, have you observed in any way that Galaxy affects the activity, whether uh, for its social cultural value or its economic value? Well, it, it, Galamse naturally affects life. And I, I don't think that anybody will be interested or excited to watch sports if they are dying. It is, it is dangerous. It is beyond what you, you ordinarily think that you want to choose your career about that. Uh, sports it is a subset of the country's um, I mean, livelihood. But Galante affects every facet of our lives. So I, the impact is severe, economic, uh, social, and the impact is, is you cannot quantify the impact. So I don't even see the reason why I should be concerned about sports one something. I have seen with my eyes the devastation that Galante is causing to our once pristine waters and the forests. So I'm here because I have witnessed, I, am a, I'm a, I have experienced it personally, and I know what it's doing to the people, my people in the, I mean, the, the communities and villages. So it's beyond sport. Some of this sport is politically motivated. What would be your reaction? Well, well, how, how is it politically motivated? If, well, it's not about the government. I think that there are, there are people in Galante who are from both Dubai, or who are from all the, the, the parties. There are people engaged in Galante, so... To make government unpopular, I think that uh, the president himself said he will put his presidency on the line. You, so you, you understand the severity of it. So it's not about making government unpopular. Where is government? Where will government be? Government is the people. So if the people are becoming unpopular globally, we are becoming unpopular for our reckless life. That's important than, let's say, government. Yes. Yeah. Right. So now that uh, that sports journalist, Sadiq Obama, uh, I am engaging. Okay. Uh, I guess into the. And the protest is, is still ongoing. Police presence is heavily represented here. And there's also some traffic on the stretch because of the protest. Okay. The stretch leading to the Tetequashi interchange. What is the level of participation? Right. So um, they've turned out in their numbers. Um, for those who are here, I could, for my estimation, there are about 1,000. Uh, and they are expecting more people to turn out because in the morning when I tagged down here, we were less than 500 but. The numbers keep swelling as they move on. Are they wielding any placards? Certainly, with such protests, a number of placards that are being welded here and basically to drum home the demand that Galante to stop and also they should release those who have been arrested. And some also have uh, these bottles with uh, colored water, which is uh, supposed to mean that these waters were, were, were from Galante where there are water bodies. And I also saw somebody with in the, on a horse, and I spoke to the person and says that he brought the horse because Galamte affects animals also. So basically, uh, that's the atmosphere uh, over here this morning. All right, thank you very much. Albert King Gaglo is our man on the ground as a morning star, Hill Star 103.5 FM. Uh, let's go for this quick break. When we return, we'll speak to Minister Paolo. This October.